Division Collision. Enter this young fighter here, his kicks as powerful as anyone in the sport at present. And not only that, but he'll do major damage just by landing a couple of them. Oftentimes, all it will take one kick to the body just underneath that elbow or a kick to the lead leg, and you can change the entire complexion of the fight. Very curious to see how it plays out for this powerful kicker in this matchup tonight. This guy has ruthless one-punch knockout power. You can't teach it, but when a fighter has it, it's a huge advantage. So here is the longtime heavyweight staple and contender, Travis Hoppe Brown, fighting out of San Diego, California, but born in Honolulu, Hawaii, former college basketball player, nearly six foot seven inches tall, outstanding striking game, trains under Edmund Tarverdian, works his wrestling with Ricky Lundell, still a guy who is trying to put it all together and get to the top of the heap here in what is a deep heavyweight division. Travis Hoppe Brown may be the most agile fighter in the UFC's heavyweight division and proved in his victory over Alistair Overeem that he may have the best heart as well. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. All right, we are underway here at the famed Madison Square Garden right in New York City. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Oh, good combination. Very efficient with his strikes tonight. Fainting with that kick. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. Big power shot there. And there's another one. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Work, work. Saw... Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Looking to avoid that left hand. Oh, and he connects there. Oh, 
effective strike there by Brown. Just over three minutes to go, round one. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice. Oh, and another punch by Brown. There's a single attempt. Brown gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet, despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. He went for an elbow. And there's that inside leg kick, Joe. The next with a right. Under two minutes to go. Nice punch by Brown. Good defense there. And he's looking for that left. Big oh, power on so that hook. That hook, Joe. Than a minute now to go in round one. <laughs> nice. Need the body. He's got the clinch up against the cage. <laughs> got both hooks now. 20 seconds to go in round one. Brown's able to attain the underhook here. Nice job to pummel. Now let's see what he can do. Busy in the clinch. Lands that punch. Brown, Brown here's next. Brown, Brown. There's a nice kick to the body. Here's a powerful leg kick. Here we see an excellent kick. Connects flush with perfect timing. Big round. Brittany Palmer is here as always. I guess in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe, but your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five minutes. Hoppe gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Try to establish that jab. Just a slip there. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Caught him with a punch. Brown gets caught with that. Punch. Both men landing in that exchange. Straight punch is good. Hand speed, man. He's got the clinch. He pummels out a double under it. Maybe connects there, Joe. Oh, he lands another hook there. It's been a big weapon for him here tonight, and he's gotten increasingly more efficient with it as this fight has gone on. Couldn't agree with you more. One underhook. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. 